Rise of Nightmares is the reason I bought my Kinect. Don't get me wrong here, the Kinect is a pretty fun device, but it's got a very limited set of games. And unfortunately for you guys here, it's also the reason I kept my Kinect. Rise of Nightmares is the first combat first person horror game for the Kinect, and it's a lot of fun. First let me explain how you play the dang game, because you're probably thinking, well, how in the hell do I play this? Well, you'll step your foot forward to move forwards, step your foot backwards to move backwards, and turn your shoulders to look around. The game also has a lot of gestures to do, ranging from opening doors to splashing water in your face or physically running in place. This is definitely a cardio workout disguised as a game. Combat is played by putting your fists up as if you were to box. To swipe, slash, punch, and stab away at your enemies. Combat is really the game's best feature. It's simply a lot of fun to play. It's really cool to decapitate your enemies or beat them to death. The game is also really bloody and gory, which is awesome. Due to the game's controls, it's also very immersive, which is great. I had a lot of fun moving around and killing the monsters in the game. The game's storyline, it's not great, but honestly, it's not bad at all. The game is really over the top, and it's not that scary, but it's like a fun B-horror movie. You'll be laughing, maybe even jump a few times due to the game's grotesque or scary imagery. Now, the frustrating part about the game, well, it's not the way the game plays. See, once you adjust the sensitivity settings and get used to the way the game is played, it's not that bad at all, and it can be a lot of fun. However, what is frustrating is, if you have a small playing space like me, the game can be an exercise in frustration at times. Make no mistake, this is not the game's fault. This is simply how most Kinect games are. If you have plenty of space and can play other Kinect games fine, you should have no problem with this game. But it can be annoying to have to move your furniture each time you want to play. And yes, you will sweat and get a pretty good cardio workout. This game may say it's standing active, but I got just as worn out playing this game as I do playing Year Shape Fitness. So if you're out of shape or... Flailing your arms around gets you out of breath. This may be a bad game for you. So if you own a Kinect and want to kill some stuff, this is a pretty fun game. And it's definitely the best Kinect game to date for real gamers. A solid 4 out of 5. Thanks for watching my review. And head over to www.therealifegamer.com for more reviews, written articles, and interviews. <laughs> Did you do that? Why not? <laughs> <laughs>